Hi, Robert Robert Lamb. Hi, Amber Simpson. You, you're looking like a very stout man today. <laughs> Thank you. Is America it because shirt? I'm wearing a bunch of beer around me? Um, no, oh. it, it's um, it's because of your America shirt and your muscles. Um, or lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> today, I just meant that I'm not wearing an American shirt. That's y- what I lack. You are, the muscles I have 100. percent Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're bulging. I'm, I'm lying. You're not wearing America shirt. I'm no, wearing an old are. navy. But it has an America flag on. Anyway, welcome to Will There Be Cake. I'm Amber. That's Robert over there with his stoutness. You know what my favorite thing that's stout? What? Uh, a teapot. Oh, I think it's short. Oh, a little teapot. <laughs> short and stout. Oh. But that's um, not where we're not talking about shortness right now or like just like a stout like kind of. Stout um, means um, strong, and proud, burly. and brave. Burly. Sure, <laughs> it goes along with those three words. But we're, today we're we're celebrating stout, the, the beer. beer. Yeah, the beer stout. But it got its name because of those things. Because it's because early. it's strong, really. Strong, <laughs> not pre- it's not, a strong beer. It's a really brave beer. Yeah, it is a strong beer. It's usually like a high percentage. It's a heavier beer. Super heavy, super yeah. thick, super dark. Like sometimes I can't even pick up the glass. Yeah, it's so I'm heavy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you totally lost your name of stout then if you're not oh, strong enough to pick up the stout. I can be stout if I want to. Stout. stout! So stout used to be a porter, right? And then they made stout from porters. But first porters. Porters came to be first in the 1700s. Oh, it's such a chicken and egg scenario. I know. Dip, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, even though you just proved that porters were first. <laughs> but we'll never know. We will never know. They were um, They were just, a, porters was just a dark ale that was flavored for the um, people living in the working class in London in the 1700s. Why did the porter cross the road? Why? Because uh, the a... luggage was on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> oh, I hate you. Do you know the difference between a stout and a porter, Robert Lamb? Uh, no. Okay, cool. I didn't think so. It's uh, The difference is the kind of malt that's used to brew each type. Porters, oh, yeah. uh, porters use the malted barley, and stout use an unmalted roasted barley, which is where you get like the coffee uh. flavor that people associate stouts with. Um, yeah. The first uh, International Stout Day was celebrated in 2011, okay. so it's a fairly, fairly new one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, and the first stouts were produced in the 1730s. Um, the Russian imperial stout was first created, and it was inspired by brewers back in the 1800s uh, to win over the Russian czar. 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 It's just czar. Czar. Yeah. I think that's how you pronounce it. No, see, silent C. Silent the C. The Russian czar. C. Yeah. Um, but... So in the 18th century, it just kind of applied to any strong beer. It didn't really have to do with how it was made. Um, It later became synonymous with a dark beer. They are really dark. They are. But when you think of dark stouts, um, what do you think of? Which type of beer? Like that I personally drink? Yeah. No, just in general. I don't know. I I always get the milk stout, so that's what I just think. Yeah, of. milk stout. Yeah. Well, when I was growing up, my first introduction with a stout uh, was Guinness, and I had yeah. my mom, my mom had a friend who drank a lot of Guinness, and I was like, "That's gross." I didn't but, like him at first. For yeah, sure. no, it's definitely to me, it's like a a dessert beer. Um, it's more of a beer that you want to yeah. like sip and like you know. Well, savor. that's the thing is like when I started drinking beer, I started at like. Bud Light, Miller Light, yeah, all that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff. Now I drank more of like the stouts and stuff. But yeah, I can't – if I'm going somewhere where I know I'm going to drink a bunch, I don't do stout because like that stuff fills me – it fills me up. It like, fills you up. Air. It's sweeter. So yeah. if you drink a lot of it, you're going to have a hangover. Yeah. And it's usually a higher percentage. Like right. there's some at, uh, hops and props that are like 10%. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> but like when we do trivia, One's usually I only get like two beer like while we're doing trivia. Yeah. So I'll do stouts because I can sip them and, and like they fill me up pretty quickly. All right, all right. Yeah, I don't drink them too often. Like I said, it's like a dessert beer for me. Every once in a while, so a lot of times and they sound really, really good because it's like it's like chocolate. Well, they or feel like cinnamon. a little bit creamier and yeah. stuff, which is cool. But it's like uh, 
Guinness, like even now I got like some Guinness stouts like or uh, some Guinness the other day and like they just don't taste the same as like when I go to the brewery and no, get like the different they're not like, they the had, like same. chocolate peanut butter stout and all this kind of stuff. Like that stuff is it's still the most popular stout in the world, though, Guinness. Guinness. But yeah, I can see that. They were originally just making porters, and then in the 1840s, they started making um, the stouts. I will say, also, a lot of times they just taste better in a glass, like from the tap rather than bottle. Right, from so the like, bottle. Yeah, I agree. Even like Shock but Top, even, sometimes I'm like, Shock Top just, why does it not taste as good as like... <laughs> well, Guinness, when it's in a bottle, you're supposed to pour it into a glass first stuff right, right and then my boss taught me when she was training me how to do the bar at work you're supposed to just like completely turn it upside down instead of like a normal bear where you're trying not to get the head yeah but you want a yeah. guinness glass yeah you want you want the head so mm-hmm. you just completely turn it upside down and then pull s- slowly so pull, pull it out, out. so yeah. yeah i don't know i feel like i mean that would probably aerates the beer a little bit or some shit too probably yeah so i'm whatever. not in like i'm not very uh, like i i don't know all the like different terms and and technicalities to oh, make yeah. the perfect beer i just drink it and if it's good I'll, good yeah 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 but they're usually strong they have strong roasted uh flavor and uh often contain notes of like dark chocolate coffee caramel or licorice i don't i would not want a licorice one. yeah that sounds gross i don't like licorice anything somebody posted a picture was I telling you this? Somebody posted a picture on Facebook of like all the states and like their favorite candies that after like taking a poll. Yeah. And like all the candies, I'm like. It's all licorice? They're all like, well, there's like black licorice. There's Ew. Boston baked beans, like the baked bean, like those. Those aren't bad. There's candy corn. Yeah, I don't there's know There's dots candy corn. on like the paper. I'm like, I'm like. This dots is like on a the paper that's just like yeah. Sugar. I'm like this is like fucking seventies style candy. It's like what? When was this poll taken? I forget. Like the, who eats black liquor? Like that's Idaho's favorite freaking candy is so black weird. licorice. I heard someone died from eating too much licorice. Good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't I'm kidding. know how true it is, but it has like something in it you're not supposed to fucking eat. Like Amy likes black licorice. Oh. I know that's why we're not friends. That's anymore. why we're not friends anymore, <laughs> even though she still does the podcast. Yeah, but we're not friends. She's okay. a, a co-worker, mm-hmm. basically. Yeah, I don't like licorice. It's fine. Did you know that there's a Louisiana brewery that makes a gumbo stout, which is uh, uh, no. a smoky flavor accented by salt, cayenne, and black peppers? I like the sweetness of it. I don't know if I would like that. Yeah, that sounds weird. Um, in the uh, this This made me laugh. In the early 20th century, um, stouts were thought to be nutritious, and blood donors, people fresh out of surgery, and pregnant women were advised by doctors to have a pint of Guinness. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guinness was like, yes. <laughs> yes. They're like, well, it's probably not healthy, but we'll we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. And make sure you smoke a bunch of cigarettes right afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Really get that help. Have a cigarette and a beer. Yep. Otherwise, your baby's going to come out abnormal. Do it. <laughs> So a lot of the websites I did research on said that there wasn't a founder, but there is stoutday.com says that um, Erin Peters, a.k.a. the beer goddess, is the founder of the day. She's a beer writer. What that means. She writer. writes about beer, I guess. Oh, I thought she wrote in beer. <laughs> she just like writes. She, wrote, she, she just wrote like beer. ice snow. <laughs> she just like, pours beer out. <laughs> Maybe. I was here. But she created it uh, in 2011 uh, in Southern California. Yeah. It never rains in Southern California. Never rains. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, yeah. Uh, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good job, Aaron Peters. Yeah. For a stout day. She's my second favorite Aaron now. Oh, wow. Who's your first favorite Aaron? I wanted you to ask. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Neville. Oh, good. I, that's the only other Aaron I could think of really fast. Um, Not, I'll tell you who's my least favorite Aaron. Who? Aaron Hernandez. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Not a big fan. But he's dead, so it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But Aaron Neville. I think this was a, a she, so. Yeah, I didn't say she's dead. <laughs> she's she's fine, right? She's fine. She's right. alive. Listen, I just, I tell it like it is. That was a little Aaron Neville joke. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. And if you're a uh, big beer connoisseur and you have the Untapped app, you can unlock, unlock an International Stout Day badge today if you check into any stout All style right. beer. Well, I'm not on any of that stuff, and I am not. I'm of that on stuff. it, but I barely use it. I use it like if I have a beer, and I was like, "Holy shit, this beer is good! I need to remember it exists." And then I do it. And also, if you follow like breweries on there, it they'll like post updates when they get new beers and shit. So, oh, nice. You can see what someone has before you go there, which is pretty dope. That's cool. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. 
Pretty cool. Pretty so cool. celebrate the day with the uh, stout. Your yeah. favorite stout, or Good if you stout. haven't had one, try one. Just make sure um, you're not drinking and driving, because, like I said, they're strong as shit. I thought you were going to say, because I guess that's illegal. <laughs> I guess that's illegal. I guess that's illegal. It might be illegal. And unsafe. And unsafe. Listen. Yeah. Just walk. Or get a, try a stout. It's not that bad, uh, and I, like I actually it. like them more just... than my yeah the other beers. That makes sense. Yeah. You do drink stouts. Not me. I'm a sour girl. I hate sour. sour. I can't do sours. I know, I know you hate sours. I mean, I don't mind sour. Like, it really is like I can drink like half of a glass of sour and I'm fine. And How then, can like, you drink a full stout but only a half a glass of sour? Because it's like, it's just like, it like builds like phlegm in my throat when I'm drinking like a sour. It like makes my throat all weird and like, <laughs> it's like, it's like I'm just drinking like warheads. I'm like, I just don't like it. Okay, like whatever. Whatever floats warheads. your boat, Robert really. Lamb. Drink yeah. your stout then. We're, we're both drinking stouts today. I will say, though, every time I get to the bottom of a glass of any beer, I'm like, eh. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> it just the last, like, four <laughs> sips of every beer. It's just, just, yeah, like, it's just not good. Unless you're chugging them. Yeah, but at that point, you're not really going for taste. <laughs> you're just going to get wasted. That's true. Yeah. So, do we have... I think you can have a cake, cake. today. I Stouts are filling, obviously. I mean, if you get, like, some... Birthday cake type stout. I was gonna <laughs> or, say, I think they yeah, have our cake one, or you can go the other way, and there's um, you can they make some people make chocolate stout cakes. Oh, okay. So you can. I'm pretty but sure. See, I think I would rather it. I would rather drink a stout and have like a like a light, just light airy cake. cake, like an angel food cake or something like that, like okay, something that's okay. just like lighter to go with your heavier beer. Ooh, this one sounds good. Guinness stout cake with Bailey's cream cheese frosting. I mean, if you can find a stout Ooh. cake, then go ahead. And... You could make a stout cake. I'm not making a stout cake. Stop trying to make me make things every time there's a food day. Not you. There's <laughs> other people out there who like to cook. Not you, obviously. Or bake. Because you suck. Or bake. I cook, okay? Yeah, I don't cook that often either. It's fine. Yeah, so do you. Thank we'll you. go buy stout and a cake and have it. Have our day. Goodbye, stout. Goodbye, stout. Bye, stout. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Okay, right. yeah, I think that does it for Stout Day. Go enjoy your stout and your cake. And we will see you tomorrow for another exciting episode. I can't wait. I'll be here. Oh, okay, good. And so will you. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Seven Lamb Production.